Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to tell you about machine learning model drift. Okay. And when it comes to machine learning model drift, there are two main ways of drift. One is called concept drift, other is called data drift. All these concepts are very, very important from deployment or usability point of view of machine learning models. So tomorrow when you go and work in a production project, when you have to maintain a model, when you have to monitor a model periodically, then you will understand how important these terms are. I want you to be aware of these terms. Okay. We will understand what is drift, how it happens, how to take care of it and other concepts. So without any delay guys, let's get started. I want you to request one more time guys, please press the subscribe button if you have not done yet and also the bell icon so that you receive all the notification. So guys, what is model drift first of all? So model drift is basically a change in the behavior of your machine learning models. Some examples can be, suppose you are ICICI bank, okay? And you have a machine learning model in place that determines the fraud transaction or that predicts which transactions are fraud. Now the model was doing good for let's say five, six years. But now since last one year, one and a half years, you are seeing models performance is not that good due to some reasons. This is a scenario of model drift, which means model is not behaving as it should behave. Two types of drift. One is called concept. One is called data. What is concept drift? Concept drift is something like when there is an statistical change in your target variable. To put it simply, whatever you are trying to predict or estimate, the definition of that has changed. Let us understand with some simple real world examples. Suppose there is a car, in that car there is a device that kind of gives automated suggestions to the driver saying how far is the next car. So you are driving that car, there is the next car in front of you, okay? And this intelligent device tells to the driver, okay, the car is this far, this is the angle, you should take pass, you should not take pass all the intelligent you know communication comes how this intelligent device gets to know about the front car is by looking at the tail lights okay so there are two round tail lights for example or rectangular tail lights let's say now imagine in new cars in place of two rectangular tail lights one long tail lights has started coming right long tail lights some high end cars or even medium range car right now you have not trained your model to understand those long things as tail lights okay and that may be a case of model drift under concept drift category because the feature of your target variable is changed the character of your target variable is changed another example your ICIS here bank fraud detection model was able to predict frauds and then ICIS here bank comes and tells you hey you know what in last one year we have observed there are some more fraud transactions which we never understood it as fraud so these are also fraud now some new transactions also should be should be estimated as fraud on which your model has never learned anything that is another example of concept drift concept is changing for your target variable features is changing for your target variable distribution probability distribution is changing for your target variable all these are come under the category of something known as concept drift what is data drift data drift is something like you have trained your model on some data right and tomorrow this data itself comes with a new meaning let me give you one example suppose you have trained a again let's say a fraud detection model okay in that you have taken a a column saying customer civil score okay and this civil score you are getting from a third party vendor when you training when you were training the model you got it from a third party vendor this civil score okay and uh, then you trained your model your model is doing good everything is working fine suddenly you started seeing that model's performance is not good okay one reason can be the third party vendor from where you were getting this civil score right that vendor change its algorithm or process of, uh, you know, scoring that or creating that number, that Sybil score. 
so that thing you have not accommodated in your model so underlying uh, systems or underlying uh, assumptions or underlying situations you have not learned in your model and hence this kind of drift will come any drift that is caused by change in independent variables is called data drift all these will come under the category of data drift what could be some other examples uh, some kind of seasonality right so for example you are you are estimating let's say ice cream sales and ice cream sales estimation you have not taken you have taken into consideration your um, let's say india weather okay temperature in india and you have trained your model same model you want to take it to let's say some other country where you know the the conditions will change not only temperature but some other things also will change so same model will not work there because independent features and underlying reasons have changed so wherever these kind of things are happening this is called your data drift so what is the difference concept drift drift due to statistical feature change or change in your target that you are trying to predict or estimate data drift drift due to change in your input data or prediction data is coming in a different form now columns are derived in a different form now okay and what can be the reasons of data drift maybe you did not consider underlying uh, underlying supply of data you did not consider some hidden features all these things okay what is the way out or how we take care of these kind of drifts so i'm sure you know about something known as model retraining so we need to retrain the model periodically let's say every six months or three months or uh, whatever time suits based on the business needs right we need to retrain the model with new data with new types of target that we want to predict so that model is aware of what changes are there right that is one way and other way would be something known as online training people call it online training means not like something is happening online but uh, you know it will happen in a batch people will uh, send data the new data let's say last one week data they will send in training model will get trained then one more week that on that data model will get retrained something like this so all these things are ways on how to take care of your model drift okay and if you go little more mathematical guys you can say probability distribution the joint probability if somebody asks you an interview right the joint probability distribution of your x and y at time t1 and t2 are not same in concept drift understand this guys if somebody asks you what is the mathematical intuition behind this right you can say the joint probability distribution of x and y is not same at time t1 and time t2 in concept drift and in data drift the probability of x at time t1 is not equal to probability of x at time t2 probability distribution i mean to say okay probability distribution graph or chart whatever you can call it function right so any any change in statistical features of x and y causes these drifts and this is how we take care of these drifts so give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video and please let me know in comments if you have any questions or suggestions i will see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care